Whew, all right, y'all, today is a very big day. We are out here at the beach and we have been building this YouTube channel together for over six years. Today, we're gonna to be doing some fishing, eating whatever we catch, but also, I am excited to announce my brand new company, Static Seasoning. This has been a dream of mine for years. And I just can't believe it's here and I'm holding it. Y'all are watching this. The day this video goes up, like while y'all are watching this, is the grand opening. It is available now. Staticseasoning.com or first link down in the description. You know what I'm saying? If you'd like to grab a bottle. This is a Cajun inspired spicy seasoning blend. It's good on literally everything, especially fish. If you've watched my catch and cook videos from like the past several months and you see me pouring out a little spicy Cajun seasoning, static seasoning. Y'all have literally watched me grow up on this channel, watched me learn, watched me, I have so many different experiences. Just thank you for being here. And even if you're new here, just watching these videos, that's all I could ever ask for. But if you really want to show extra, extra love, grabbing a bottle of this would help out tremendously. Let's shake up the seasoning scene. Let's take over, man. This isn't just my company either. Like this is ours. Y'all, we are building this together. Just like we did with the YouTube channel, man. This has been years in the making and I'm just extremely grateful to be in this position. And y'all know, I'm not like one of those YouTubers like, buy this, look at this, sponsor post. I just wanted to genuinely make a good product and I can't wait till y'all try it. I'm excited to use it in this video today. First, we have to catch something. Though. Basically, we are going to be fishing the beach here. This is very low tide. I don't know if there's going to be anything that bites us or not, but we also have a, a storm that's kind of passing over here, so hopefully we don't get struck. All right, let's set this up super quick. So you might be wondering like, okay, what is static taste like? So this is a gluten-free, non-GMO, all natural ingredients product. This rod holder in there. Not too salty, not too spicy. I've been using it, I've been testing it out on so many different things for so many months. And as I said, this has been taking us a long time to create. All right, so first what I'm gonna do here, this is a tiny little baby shrimp got on a little circle hook and basically it's on a dropper loop rig with a what was this like two or three ounce weight we're just gonna bomb this out there and hopefully something bites this this is like the more chill beach just kind of get it like out there dude i need more line on this reel <laughs> holy crap like that like that all right we are fishing. Baby shrimp hopefully gets us something. Oh my God. We got fish on. Literally, as I was setting stuff up, I didn't even realize that I look over. This rod's doubling over, man. All right, what do we got here? Oh boy, hold on. Wait a second. Wait, what is this? Hello? What? What? <laughs> what? Why was that so hard to reel back in? I don't know if there's some kind of stuff right there we're reeling through, like grass or rocks or something. Boom, first fish of the day. Got a croaker. I used to catch these back in Delaware. You can kind of hear them croaking right there. That took no time at all. Wow, small hook, small shrimp, and boom. He's talking. <laughs> All right, let me look it up real quick. I don't even know the size limit of croaker in Florida. Just make sure if you're ever catching stuff and you're not sure of the size or what it is, just like look it up before you keep it. No minimum size limit, bag limit equals 100 pounds. All right, y'all. We're gonna try to catch a mixed bag today, but there we go. If y'all can kind of get a good look at that little croaker right there. It's kind of cool because we started this channel back in Delaware and this is a fish that we used to catch back in Delaware. It's not the biggest fish, but it is a fish. That happened before I could even freaking get everything ready. All right. Put this over here. Let's see what else is out there. That was way faster than I expected. Let's put this little dude on here. Boom. There's some life here. And as I was actually reeling that dude in, I saw a little crab, crab walking. We got life. As I said, I just want to kind of talk a little bit more about this because I know I just like dropped a boosh. I have so many videos that I want to film and do catch and cook time. We're actually going to be doing like a little catch and cook tour type thing soon. Going back to Delaware, doing some stuff. Just wait on, the videos are going to be sick. 
Oh. Y'all saw that? I think there's like some seagrass right there that we gotta work through. So you might be asking why? Like why build a seasoning company? Let's get a little crazy, put a big shrimp on here, send it out, see what happens. I just feel like the seasoning space needs something. I feel like at times it could feel very outdated, not much ingenuity, and the goal is to fix that. Did that get whacked right away? Ooh, we got some waves coming in. Oh, y'all saw that? We just got smacked. How did we get to this point though? This is just great audio. We got waves, we got helicopters flying. Come on fish, where are you at? So we started this journey years ago. I had like no clue where to start and I honestly didn't even like have the means to do it early. You know, I just started doing a lot of research and seeing what's the best ways to make seasoning blends. You know, how do you have them produced? We got a fish. We got fish. We got something on here, baby. And that's the fun thing too. Ooh, ooh, putting up a good fight on this little rod. That's why I like to use these lighter actions. Saltwater fishing, man. Ooh, this is fun. This feels a little bit bigger too. We do have a pretty big weight on, but let's see if we can get him. Oh yeah, oh, what is that? It's running up the beach, what is that? Wait a second, oh! No, dude, I think that was a, oh no. I think that was a really nice size pompano. I like, just got to up there. I was putting up such a fight. What is even, what's going on? Oh, I am sick. That was something really nice. Hey, we'll catch another one. So I started calling like a lot of manufacturers and I feel like of course at first they didn't really take me seriously. I was asking like a, just a bunch of questions. I didn't know anything. And then, you know, I'm just this dude from Delaware. He's like, hey, I want to start a seasoning brand. They're like, yeah, sure, little Jimmy. Over the years, I learned more and more and probably about a year and a half ago is when things like got serious. So I tested different custom blends where we actually like create custom seasonings with mixologists. I knew I wanted a Cajun blend for the first like flagship seasoning. And here's the thing, man, a lot of Cajun seasonings I feel like are just like very salty. Eventually we landed on the mix for static seasoning and it's just, it's perfect. Dude, I feel like this storm is actually coming to us. Holy, that looks dark. I don't know what the heck this storm's doing. We're already out here. We're just gonna launch some more shrimp. It's pretty deep actually right there, ain't it? It's definitely thundering. So this is what we're working with. See, there's even a river cruise right there, but that that's looking, <laughs> it's a little dark, man. See if we can find any shark's teeth in the meantime. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Uh, my wife, Kelsey's actually with me and she found a bunch of shark teeth while I was setting up and fishing a little bit. Whoa. If you are like newer here, we'd uh, come to these beaches and you know, in this watch you can find a bunch of shark's teeth. We have a big collection in the camper and eventually I think it'd be so cool to make like a big old table. Oh, oh, we do have a fish on. Oh, what the heck? Okay, second fish of the day. That is gonna be good, all right. One would have been too little. Two is getting somewhere. This dude's actually kind of yellowish too. This is a beautiful whiting. I don't even know, have we ever caught and cooked a whiting before? We catch them here and there on the channel. Let me see if I can give you a better look. Oh, oh, there we go. Boom. That is beautiful looking, especially, oh geez. These things are always flopping. But in this lighting, it looks so cool. Oh, we're on. Actually, are we? I think we got a fish, baby. It's hard to tell because of this grass in here. You just kind of got to yoink your catch. Yeah. 
No, we got stolen. I don't know if you can hear that. That storm is... Whew. It's starting to pick up wind. I do we've been out here. I thought you know the storm was gonna come and be that. Well, that was a big lightning. We probably should get out of here. But we've actually been out here for a while and it still hasn't rained yet. But I should probably not say that. <laughs> we'll give it like a few more minutes. The bite just kind of like completely shut off for whatever reason. It was so cool that like probably about 20 feet out, I saw a manatee to my right and it just was cruising by. But <laughs> nose came up, said what's up. A lot of life out here, man. A lot of seagulls. Kelsey found some shark's teeth. We caught, you know, some fish. Not a lot, but it's something. Hey, man. Guess what? We did it. Hello. How are you today? We successfully avoided the rain. The other day, we actually stopped and got Camper this new, like, alligator toy. He freaking loves it. He's a little tired right now, but he literally is so funny. He put the toy in his mouth and he just walked around like all of PetSmart and he walked out with his toy after paying for it. He's really tired right now. Welcome back to the camper. Welcome back to home base. The title is right, man. It's taken me years to finally catch a fish that I can catch, clean, cook and actually use my own seasoning on life is crazy and it was thundering out there there was static in the air so this is like the launch video i know i'm kind of talking a lot about stuff i promise it's like not going to be like this moving forward but again i don't push a lot of stuff on this channel you guys know that honestly as of right now the channel actually has zero sponsors ah, just i love this packaging man I'll give you a little 360 right there and i feel like i should just get this out there like there's no big companies like backing me this is truly my own baby and this is kind of how i wanted to do everything at first but i've i'd be lying if i said i wasn't like stressed a little or a lot <laughs> there's been a lot that has gone into this i've kind of done almost like 99 percent of everything including editing all my other fishing videos and still posting all this stuff. the goal is to scale and uh, delegate some stuff you know someday and as i said to editing on my own videos shorts pictures to forecasting managing operations communicating with suppliers so i actually received like the giant shipment and they were in pallets moved it to the warehouse all by myself that it was a lot of just a lot and it was an excessive heat warning that day of course i shot the product images it was like literally we started in the shower that probably sounds weird but it's like white and has like good lighting and i got this hold on I got this poster board and we were kind of using it for lighting and taking pictures with it and then I moved it to this table and we don't like have the best lighting in here so I kind of had to use uh, parchment paper I put that on the window janky setup I mean we don't have you know it worked it's been fun it's just it's been a lot here's like an example of what I'm talking about like we use this poster board and parchment paper on the window and this is what we got out of it you wouldn't even tell it is a dollar store poster board but adding on to that I built the website we're gonna you know continue to build on all this stuff in the future more I am going to be handling the shipping for this launch Kelsey and I are gonna package it and then um, ship it out that is also going to be a lot i think y'all understand what i'm saying though like this is in every sense a small business and y'all get to follow and be part of the journey i'm putting my all into this anything's possible and you know big youtubers they they have like lots of money and they can hire these teams that just do everything for them as i said i've always wanted to do this i like being hands-on i like like this business stuff and hopefully one day it'll be cool to look back and be like yeah we started that. Started from the bottom. <laughs> we are uh, about to cook this fish here in a second. Chef First State's coming out. It is scary though. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't like tweaking a bit. It's um, yeah, I've been all over the place recently. Just like a lot of money and time has been invested in this. And I've never done anything like this before. But you know, just the same way I show you guys all the time, like trying new types of fishing, new places. And I don't know if it's going to work out or not. And, you know, sometimes in life, you never really know what's going to happen. And this is like that. Like on steroids. But at least I have my CBO over here. He's uh, here to keep me in order. All right, real quick though, just a few things to go over. We do not ship outside the US yet. Hopefully sometime in the future. Also, if you follow at Static Seasoning on Instagram, and also send a DM to that account stating FSF, I'm gonna be choosing some winners to win some fishing gear and like some good stuff too, like reels and some good stuff. Also, as I said, there is a limited quantity, but in this first launch, one lucky person, they will get the golden tickets and along with whatever you order you will get two hundred dollars cold hard cash not a chocolate factory but 
some, some money. You could buy some chocolate with it, I guess. All right, y'all, so here we go. One filet of each. On the right, we have the whiting, and on the left, we have the croaker. This is actually gonna be kind of like a science catch a cook too, because I don't even know if I've ever eaten whiting before. People say that it's like really freaking good, and if you catch a bunch, you can make some like fire whiting tacos, which we might have to do here in a future video. It's been a while since I made some fish tacos. Let me know if you guys have any like recipes or anything you'd wanna see. But yeah, on the left, we have croaker. It's been so long since I've had a croaker, like years. We're gonna season them up a little bit. We're gonna do some cooking. There's a plane flying overhead. Chef First Aid's about to get to work. Oh yeah, we are all the way back. Chef First Aid in the kitchen. It's a scary sight. Where you at, Gordon Ramsay? You wanna try some seasoning? <laughs> all right, so here we go, y'all. Again, this is a 5.2 ounce bottle, so this is actually a hefty size. Just a comparison, here's some other, you know, random little seasonings, and here, is the bottle you get with static. So I don't know if you could tell, hold on. It is like a big difference. So you do get a lot in here. The goal again is to kind of scale everything and um, in the future, you know, get all the costs down. Here's a look at the lid. You do have the spoon side, which it comes out a lot. And then you have a sprinkle side. You gotta pop this open first and get that cap back on. Then yeah, you got some holes. It's a little sprinkling. In these kitchen cooks you guys have been seeing, uh, you know, I always use the seasoning. Y'all just didn't know it because I didn't announce it because there's a lot of stuff still to do but i'm gonna show you exactly how we've been using this and how i like it again we've been using a lot of stuff mac and cheese dude it is freaking fire on mac and cheese chicken a bunch of stuff but as far as fish goes we're gonna just put some oil in the pan like that all right now i'm just gonna put a little coating on at the moment something like that right there i don't even know if, you know can i see that into the pan into the pan. You guys know I love to do catch and cooks and just like experiment and see what tastes like what and hopefully fill our Pokedex as far as uh, catching and cooking stuff in the wild. <laughs> I have some good stuff planned. I'm excited to just do a bunch more catch and cooks and also make them fancier. Like as I said before, sometimes we do like stuff like this which just quick like tasting. Other times we go full out blown out meal. We're gonna be doing more of those. And also real quick, if any of you guys in the Florida area, specifically like kind of like the Northwest-ish of Florida, if any of you guys scallop or do any scalloping or can point me to who can take me scalloping, please let me know because I think it'd be cool to do a scallop catch and cook. I know it's a bit into the season, but yeah. All right, this is ready to be flipped. All right, and these are small pieces of fish so they cook super quickly. But what I've been liking to do is once they're cooked, go back on top dress them up a lot, you know what I'm saying? Straight flavor. Tell me that doesn't look kind of good, man. I know it's not the most meat. We're trying something out here. And that is what we've been doing. Again, we'll, we'll do more like fancy catch and cooks here soon, but this stuff is just, whew. All right, go for the whiting first. Oh my gosh, it's so flaky. See how the whiting is. As always, that seasoning's freaking fire. That, I can see that being a really, really, really good taco fish. All right, now let's try. Why is it, cannot focus. Oh, there we go, kind of. Croaker, I've had croaker before. Let's see how it is. Static, staticified, fresh caught from Florida. I'll be honest, for whatever reason, I thought that there was gonna be more of like a difference between both of those. It kind of almost tastes the same, but th that's freaking good, man. Officially, these fish are on my radar down here in Florida. Hold on, let me get a closer up. I don't even know if this camera can really. All right, so here's a better look. Peep the seasoning glistening the white fish again comment below what you guys would like to see more catch and cooks on and also what other kinds of like fishing and just videos in general you guys want to see we're going to be blasting them out here now that i can like actually focus we're still dealing with this um a lot of people I, i've been getting a lot of comments they're like dude just take the boot off it's been forever there's some complications we'll talk about that in a future video it's frustrating one and a half feet ain't stopping us right now all right but that's pretty much yeah it's been a long time coming but static seasoning is now available. Hopefully someday we'll get this into stores. Hopefully we get this everywhere and I have a lot of exciting things just in store. And yeah, yeah I'm nervous. Uh, I'm gonna be recording like stuff when we launch, which is um, the day you guys are watching this video. You know, just kind of like documenting everything. Whew, it's exciting. But it's ner I'm nervous again. I'm nervous, but it's exciting. So if you guys want to show support, buy a bottle, buy however many bottles. Staticseasoning.com and Instagram at static seasoning. <sighs> here man let's take this thing to the freaking moon i just want to show y'all anything is possible i know it sounds corny but follow your dreams and um yeah man it is officially static season by the way if you grab a bottle 
please go ahead if you want to post it on your story tag me i'll, I'll probably be reposting a bunch of those and uh yeah man as always thank y'all so much for all the freaking support let's keep this rolling thank y'all for watching see you next video you wanna know just where